I'm just gonna start the video by asking a bunch of bogus questions. Are you having a good day? Do you like watching videos? I'm gonna be Michael from Big Sun. How do you know videos are real? How do you know that you exist? You think, therefore you are? I <laughs> think that just answers everything? <laughs> no. Do you think that science and faith can coexist? Ooh, it's got really deep right now. Let's get to it. This is a video response to a video that I really like from an awesome channel called Vsauce. If you haven't heard of it, hey, make sure you watch that video before you watch this video, or else you might not understand what I'm talking about. In the Vsauce video, is anything real? Michael from Vsauce discusses. I need to stop trying to be dramatic. He discusses how we might not know anything. You know what I'm saying? To summarize, outside of our minds, we don't know what's going on. Since we perceive things for our senses, we receive that information, we interpret it, and we make that into knowledge and memory. But what we got going on in here is that what's really happening in the universe or not? It is a great video. It makes me realize, like, am I really here right now? What if I'm still sleeping? What if it's all in my head and it turns out? I'm like in a mental like institution because I murdered 20 people. For instance, the way our eyes see light, I like eyes, sorry. The way our eyes see light, we get different wavelength of electromagnetic radiation. We perceive it as color, but other animals can perceive different kinds of radiation, which means more colors and different kinds of information. There's a lot of things that we're not receiving that are happening in the universe. You get my point? And to further blow your mind, Vsauce's video talked about outside of our sensory experiences, we don't know if anything's true. You dig? This is what he mentioned is called the egocentric predicament. We are in our own minds. We don't know what's going on outside of our minds. Yeah. He also describes what's called the phanron. We have reality and we have a phanron, the way the universe is interpreted through our senses. I just want to park on that for a bit. Phanron is the way that we interact with our universal truth. And uh, according to the Christian faith, the spirit is the way we interact with God. I'm not just I'm not gonna say I see any parallels there. I'm just gonna put that out there for you to see if you find anything similar. But let me just talk about the nature of science for a minute. The way science is done is called the scientific method, at least the way it's done now. You know this, they teach you scientific method like every year in school. Make a hypothesis, procedure, you know, prove the hypothesis or disprove the hypothesis, right? If you disprove it, then you make a new hypothesis, work off of that. If it's proven over and over and over again, then that's a theory. That's a reliable way that we know the universe works. We use theories all the time. Theories are as true as things get in science. We know that it happens all the time. The scientific method leads us to theories. We use those to advance humanity, to advance technology, all of that. It's pretty great the way science works. The way everyone is trying to prove or disprove a hypothesis, it gets bias out of the way. Science is considered to be very objective, very non-opinionated, straight up fact, universal truths that we can use to our advantage. But here's the thing, some theories are incomplete. Actually, the point of having a theory is to disprove it. That's a point that you can argue with me on. But if there's some piece of the puzzle that doesn't fit, like our understanding of gravity and the way the universe works then we got to make a new theory to account for that but even though we know our theory is incomplete or there's things about it that we don't understand we still use it to make humans better are you following me if we can believe in the theory why then can't we believe in the existence of god even though we don't totally understand god we can still use god to make humankind better Oof, that was a really charged sentence Sila. You've been quiet. What are your thoughts? I'd rather not. It's kind of deep. What I'm gonna say right here. Take a note. Realism is the assumption that what we see and perceive is true in the universe. And it's accepted even though we know, like if you think about it for a little bit, everything we perceive could be fake. We could live inside a computer or like maybe we're hallucinating or maybe oh, we're, we're crazy. Maybe we're in a coma. Maybe we're in an alternate reality or something that we don't know. Something postmodern like that. But scientists believe realism because one, it's the most convenient explanation. Two, basically other explanations aren't easily covered by science. Really? Oh, I get it. You're gonna post this on your thingy. <laughs> I feel so stupid. I just realized that you're gonna put this on your channel and that's why you expect me to talk. Yes. For it. I'm sorry. The way scientists believe in realism, even though they know it could be false, the way we believe a scientific theory and use a theory to advance our scientific knowledge, I think that just has to say something about how science can be faith-based. So even by using science, the most objective of the subjects, it's a matter of faith, isn't it? There's a lot that we don't know about, but we still use science. So trust 
and science to work on things and all that. When people talk about how science is the opposite of faith or religion, I don't think that's true. Because as this video points out, science is more faith-based than most of us realize. Science and faith can coexist are the same thing. Uh, it's not the argument I'm making. All I'm saying is that science and faith are not incompatible. What do you think? Comment, like, share. Ask away those burning questions and subscribe for more weekly science videos. All scientists believe in realism? No. Oh, Vsauce, Michael. Vsauce, I love you. Remember me. Like this video. Just kidding. I ain't desperate. I don't need your likes. <laughs> Sassy Jesus. Sassy Jesus. You ended the video with nothing. Nothing.